Hi, what's up? Welcome. In this sketchpad, I do a lot of drawings. And some of them even turn into paintings. Like this one I did. But in this video, I'm just going to stay here in this, in this sketchpad. Um, I want to turn them into awesome looking war elephants once I'm done with the anatomy, the shading, you know, first of all the proportions and all. At the beginning I just wanted to do like a light sketch, but then I decided later on to turn him into a, <laughs> into a war elephant. Um, but, but this is so crucial, if you want to draw anything fantasy related, you first need to know and understand how reality works and uh, if I want to draw some war elephants for a fictional empire, well, I first need to know how to draw, you know, well, an elephant, right? <laughs> But this is mostly for practice. Uh, I'm later turning him into a war elephant uh, once the second one is done. So yeah, watch till the end of the video to see how that turns out. Why war elephants? Well, you know, I've been playing some Rome Total War 2, so, you know. <laughs> but what about these war elephants? Well, these war elephants were mostly used in Asia, um, especially in India, as far as I know. Um, but most famously, they were used by Carthage in the Second Punic War with Rome. This very famous war in which Hannibal, most famously, crossed the Alps, using a bunch of them, to march towards Rome. So, they don't just exist in Lord of the Rings. These things were really terrifying to see on the battlefield, obviously. I mean, who wants to see a huge, angry, heavily armored elephant charging at them? Uh, but I think the Romans figured out... Uh, soon how to defeat them or scare them away using trumpets, fire and whatnot. Um, plus, these elephants were known to, you know, panic quite frequently and trample down the ranks of their own army, so yeah, they were mostly just effective in making the enemy shit their pants on the battlefield. Yeah, and by the way, um, paintings like the cigar slash coffee one you saw at the beginning of the video are sometimes only posted on my Instagram. So make sure you not only subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, but you also follow me on Instagram as well if you want to see some of my other sketches, paintings and some pen and ink drawings that I do. I draw with many things, not just with this ballpoint pen that I'm using here, also with you know a lot of fountain pens, you see a lot of that on my channel, and yeah. As I said, I do some digital paintings as well, sometimes.
yeah now that the second one is done i'm finally converting this thing into <laughs> a war elephant uh, it's really fun to go creative with this it's really fun to go really uh, you know creative with this you know just adding all kinds of things even though they're probably not historically accurate but that's not what it's about um just drawing the anatomy and the shading trying to be with this quick sketches precise as possible and then just letting go letting loose having a little bit of fun and just doing whatever you want with it kind of reward yourself in a way you know Alright, I would say that's it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna eat my banana now. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel, consider giving me the thumbs up to support me. Uh, write a comment on whatever, what else you would like to see here on this channel, um, if you have any idea. Um, check out my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, I hope I see you in the next video, okay? Goodbye. <laughs>